Hello everyone! It'll just take a second to let everyone know that I'm online. Um, I've got the chat on my iPad up next to me so I can see all of your comments. Um, and it's really nice to be back on a live on YouTube and chatting to you all. So, um, sorry it's been a little while. Hope you're all doing well and happy Easter if you celebrate. Um, and so much more with Ultra. Not really sure. Hopefully you guys couldn't hear that. Sounded like an ad playing in the background, so not sure how my phone managed to do that. But hope you're all good anyway, and it's really nice to be back with you all. And just drop, uh, drop any comments or questions or anything in the chat. But as you will have seen by the thumbnail, this is a giveaway and of course I'm back with my friends at Stationery Pal who have gifted me a beautiful set, mostly of pens this time because you know I'm obsessed with pens. So the rules for the giveaway are to make sure you are subscribed to my channel, Stationery Pal's channel, leave a like on this video and drop a comment what is your favourite type of pen. There could be a specific brand, there could be a colour, you know, it could be a marker pen, a fine tip pen, a fountain pen, anything like that. So this video is a little bit about pens. We know that I'm obsessed. And let's get into a ginormous haul and I hope you guys all enjoy it. So unboxing our little stationery pal stuff. Oh, before I carry on, the stationery pal giveaway, it will be a mystery set. So um, I don't even know what you're getting, but I know it's always an amazing um, gift and stuff. So... Yeah, whoever is the winner, make sure you let me know what you get. But moving on, we've got our little thank you card, which I always get. You get a really sweet note and um, yeah, they're just the best at Stationery Pal. So let's open up. It always comes in the nicest packaging. It smells divine, as I always say. But I don't know if you guys can tell, the bubble wrap is always hearts, which I just think is the cutest. Um, and you always get a ton of freebies in their little gifts. So, let's have a look what we got. We've got a cute little bear. He's adorable. Um, and some cute keychains. This little astronaut, spaceman. Got a rubber duck that if I squeak, my dogs will go mad. So I best not do that. Um, and then just a ton of confetti. They do these little um, woolly hats that come in it. And I'm not 100% sure what they're for. I'm thinking maybe they go on a pen. Um, but they're so cute. They say love on. Um, and yeah, a bunch of confetti and stuff, which I love. It's always super useful. I make sure to save it and it's amazing for, you know, if you're giving a gift or anything, you can reuse it, be eco-friendly and all of that. And it just makes it such a nice experience to unbox. They also give, they gave me, um, so this is one of those things that goes on the back, like a pop socket on the back of your phone. Super useful. And some cute little clips, which are useful for holding your journal open or, you know, clip into your school notes or something if you need to mark the page. Just move out some more of this confetti. Um, and yeah, we can just get straight into the unboxing. Hello, everyone who's watching, by the way. Um, and yeah, I hope you're having a good day. Make sure you've got some chocolate or a nice drink or something. And we can just go through all of these amazing pens that I've got. So I have got a ton of single pens, which I can swatch for you guys if you're interested. Um, let me take you through the ones that I've got. So I don't know if you guys have tried these, but um, these are the Pentel Energel. And I have one in pink. And it is just literally the best pen that I love to write with. It's so smooth. The ink is like the perfect amount of inkiness. Um, so I picked out a few colours from them. I think there's another one, but I'm not sure where I put it. Oh, here. Um, so I got a few different colour ones and a few different size uh, tips. The needle tips are obviously a bit finer. Got it in a few different colours. Blue, yellow and orange. And then just a plain black one because always handy to have so we can swatch those in a little minute um then i saw these that they had on stationery pal um at the end of the video i'll drop links to everything down in the description if you're interested but these basically have a stamp so if you can see there this one is a star and this one is like a water droplet which i thought could be really useful for like a tracker um 
you know, if you wanted to do a water tracker, you can stamp and it will make the line, um, the watermark, sorry. And then on this end is just a line, simple one, um, in different colours. Got a blue and a yellow, obviously, for the stars and the water, which I thought was really cute. I haven't seen those before. Then I got a Uniball 1. If you've seen any of these hauls before, I always get one of these pens because I just love writing with them. So had to get one. And it's kind of in a mauve beige kind of colour. I'm not sure how to describe it. Um, but I just thought it was super aesthetic and could look cute in some videos, you know, as like a little prop as well. Hello to everyone, by the way. All of the amazing people watching. Thank you so much. Um, hi, Sophia. Thank you for watching. Hello to everyone from India as well. It's so cool that everyone is from around the world, so thanks for stopping by. Then we've got these Muji gel pens, which in the bullet journal community is kind of like crazy because people love these and I've never used one. I've never even had one, so I thought it's about time. I got a black, a pink and a purple. Um... Yeah, so let me know if you've ever tried these ones out. Everyone seems to love them, so I hope I will as well. Again, we can do a little swatch in a minute. Hello to everyone from Pakistan as well. Yeah, drop a comment and say where you're from, so that'll be really cool. Obviously, if you don't know, I'm from the UK. I live on the south coast of England. Um, yeah, so as you might imagine, I have a ton of pens. <laughs> so I thought it was about time I got a few pencil cases. Um... This one is pink and purple, which I just love the look of. It's kind of my favourite colours at the minute. Obviously, you know, I love purple, but I'm in a bit of a pink phase right now. Comes and goes. Um, and I just loved how it had quite a lot of organisational stuff inside here. So you can obviously put pens um, in this side and then you could organise them a bit more. You could put little things in the net section. Yeah, I just thought it was really useful. And you can also unzip this side and it kind of extends it out a bit so you get a bit more space. So there's that one. Um, and then I just love the colour of this one. It's like the Meg Notes purple. Um, just really big, spacious one that I can keep everything in. Got a few little storage compartments inside too. So there's this zipper side. Um, and then there's two like divided up net sections, if you can see that in there. Um... Yeah, so I thought that was cute. And it's kind of padded as well, which I thought was really nice. The padded look is really in at the minute. Oh, I found a little extra gifted um, badge in there. It's like a clip-on badge. It says positivity, which is super cute. Could put that on like a, a school bag or something. Um, yeah, so into the next sets of pens. As I said, this was quite a pen-heavy order that I did. Um, but these were a few that really caught my eye. So these ones are called colour dot pens and if you can see from the tips they are like a circle dot so that you can make really simple dots with the pen. Um, I just thought that would be really useful for maybe using a tracker. You can just dot it like in the box to dot if you've done the habit or you know you can if you needed to draw a flower or something you can dot the centre of the flower. I just thought they'd be really useful to have and they came in these lovely pastel colours so... We'll try that one out again um, as well. Also, thank you to everyone who's saying that they like my voice. I think I'm a bit, like, got a bit of a cold. <laughs> so it might sound a bit weird, but thank you for that. Then these are the Zebra uh, Sarasa, I think you say it. Um, I just love to write with these kinds of pens. Um, super useful. I love that you can get loads of different colours so that it could match whatever your journal spreads are or something like that. Um, so, you know, if you were doing, like, April showers, you could write in blue for the month. Then if you were doing watermelon theme, you could use the pink and the green. Um, yeah, super useful. And I always love when you get a set because you know that then when you found one pen that you love, you've got a ton more to use. Some more of the same types of pens, but these were the pastel colours, which kind of like milkshake colours. So I love those. And then we're getting towards the end of the haul now. So these are jelly rolls. Again, I have not really used these. I think I've just used the white ones before. Um, but I thought it would be nice to get a full set of them. Again, very popular in the bullet journal kind of stationary community. Let me know if you've tried these ones out and if you have what you think of them. Um, but I'm super excited to try those ones. They look really cool as well in the set, having all the colours. Hello to everyone um, on the chat, by the way. I'm from the UK, for people who have asked. Um, England in the UK. 
And then I got these. I just couldn't resist. So these are paper clips. Um, you could kind of just clip them on the edge of the paper just for decoration or obviously actually use them to clip things in or mark a page or something. But I got these. These are dog ones. If anyone um, follows me on Instagram, you'll know that I'm often sharing pictures on my stories of my dogs because I love my dogs. Um, and then these were just little T-Rexes and I just thought they were so cute. So <laughs> I don't have a T-Rex. I do have dogs, but you know, I thought I could have these as well. Join the club and they're super cute. They're going to look cute in photos and stuff. Comment on the chat if you've got a dog. Let me know what they're called, what breed you've got, because I'm dog obsessed. So I will make sure to tag everything in the description afterwards, because I can imagine quite a few people might like those ones. And then the final thing that we've got in here is this notepad. I love animals. Um, and this was kind of a cute cow print that I liked. Um, it's kind of like abstract cow print, but... I really liked the inside, so it's just lined, but it's split down the middle, and I just thought that's super useful because I really love those notepads that you get that are like long and thin, kind of this size. Um, I use them all the time. Here's one as an example. Um, I they're just perfect for to-do lists. So I thought having a full notepad split like this means you could have, you know, a work to-do list or school to-do list, and then like a personal one, so you could have you know, homework and school tasks and then, you know, make your bed, do the laundry, all of that sort of stuff down the other. Um, so yeah, I just thought this one would be really handy. And again, I like the little print. It's so cute. It's got little smileys and that. Um, so how could I resist, basically? And that is our haul. Let me know which one you think would be your favourite if you had this haul. And a reminder for anyone who wasn't here at the start then I am doing a giveaway. It's in celebration of Stationery Pals' fifth anniversary. Um, so they've got a huge sale on at the minute. And yeah, we're also doing a giveaway. You can get a mystery set. I have no idea what you'll get. But all you need to do is subscribe to me, Stationery Pal, like the video and comment on the video at the end um, your favourite type of pen. doesn't have to be any of these, just anything. I thought it would be interesting to hear I love pens. I'm always on the lookout for a new favourite or something else to try. So I thought that could be a fun way and I will be picking a winner from the comments. So before we go, I thought it would be fun if we swatched a few of these pens. Now that I've shown you them all, you probably want to see how they're doing. Um, I've had the box for a little while, so hopefully everything's working fine. Um, they might need to run the ink a little bit. But I'll just swatch a few of them, comment if there's any in particular you want me to try out. But I'm really excited to try these ones, the dot ones. Um, yeah, so as I said, these have like a circle tip so that you can make dots. Um, I think I'll really be using these for trackers and things. Um, but I loved the pastel muted colour palette too. So let's try out a few. Let's start with the purple, shall we? Um... So that is what the tip looks like. Yeah, they're called Clean Colour Dot. Um, oh, these are perfect. This is exactly what I was hoping for. So basically, if you imagine a habit tracker or something in your bullet journal, and you want to mark off if you've done the habit, then you could just, like, dot on the date or something. Oh, these are so much better than I thought. Um, they work perfectly. The perfect circle. They're a really nice... You know, you can see the colour, but it's not too much, so it would be perfect for kind of highlighting over something. Um, yes, I love these. <laughs> it's always so fun when you get new stuff and you can try it out, and I've had to resist until I could film this video. Um, but yeah, these are so cute. Love the colour palette too, as I've already said. Um, let's try the other couple of colours, may as well, whilst we're here. And there we go. They're really nice. I love this brown too because the browns are really in at the moment. So, yes, I will have to put all of these pens away at the end. I'll just leave them out for now. Let's have a try with some of these Pentel Energels. Um, yeah, for people wondering, Stationery Pal, the reason why I love them so much, obviously amazing, just like so much stationery, but it is all super affordable, um, which I just love because... It's them more accessible to everyone. 
um, and they ship worldwide, I believe. Oh, look, these are just so perfect. I don't know if I could do it up close to the camera, but like, the ink just flows. So this is blue. Um, they all come with a little safety blob on, so that's what that is. You just have to pick it off with your nail. <laughs> there we go. Then we've got the orange. Oh, that is so nice. It's such like a bright orange too. Um, I love the needle tip as well. If so, if you're wanting to try out any Pentel Energels, I recommend the needle tip. Um, and this one is the yellow. My mum's going to be very jealous of this. Yellow is her favourite colour, so I might have to gift her this one. <laughs> um, and what else did I have? Oh, I had a black Pentel Energel. Um, again, just having to take the little bobble off the end because that stops it from leaking in the box. Oh, it's not black, it's grey. I couldn't remember what I ordered. <laughs> um, oh, that's really nice. Look at that. It's like a really pale, bluey grey. Not sure if you can see properly through the camera, but... That's pretty. Um, so we love those. What else should I try out, guys? What do you want to see? Um, if we've got time and people are enjoying it, I'll probably just work my way through all of them. However, um, I'm just nervous that my dogs are going to start barking any minute because they've been pretty good so far. Let's have a look at these um, Zebra Sarasa clip ones. These are the pastel colours. Um take off the little bobbles again is somebody asking me a question um maybe they're saying i'm so funny if if that is the case then thanks i'm not sure but yes <laughs> so this is the like milkshake pink i don't think they're called milkshake but super cute pink then we've got an orange but like a peachy orange i like that color it's nice that they're different colored oranges so talk about variety. Then we've got this kind of tealy turquoise. Another nice colour. Let me get that closer to you. Aren't they so cute? So there's those ones. Oh, let's try the Mujis because I'm excited to try these. Not had them before. Drop a comment in the chat if you've tried these out or if you would like to. Um, yeah, so this one I think is black. Yes. Oh. Needs a bit of a... There we go. Oh, that's really nice. Feels really nice to hold. This is, like, really smooth. Um, so that is the Muji Black. As I said, they've all been in their box a little while, so they might need a little bit of a waking up. This is the Muji Pink. Sorry, my writing isn't the neatest right now, because... Doing it from standing up is not the easiest. And then this is the purple. That one is so nice. I also love on Stationery Power how you can select single pens. You don't have to buy a set. So all of these colours I just chose individually. So you could select like a blue one if you wanted blue. Or, you know, say you've got a whole set like this and you're missing one colour that you really want. You can go and select the single version. Which I just think is really useful, especially for people who, you know, you don't want to spend a ton on a whole set. Maybe there's just a certain colour that you really like. I just like that. So, let's try these ones. Oh, these are so cute. I'll bring it closer to the camera in a second. Um, and this is the water droplet one. Oh, these are going to be perfect for a water tracker. Just got to kind of angle it correctly. It might take a bit of practice, but... Look at these. How cute would that be on a tracker, like a water tracker with the little water droplets? Because I don't know if you guys have seen some of my BJ flip throughs, but whenever I've done a water tracker, the time that it takes to draw out all these little water droplets is just mad. So that is so cute. And also the little star is kind of a yellowy, uh, golden yellowy green kind of colour. So I love those. I think they had some other types, but these were just the ones they chose. I think they have a heart... Um, and maybe something else that I thought those ones would be really useful. Any other pens? I've got my Uniball one. Not sure what colour this one is. Because you can get different coloured barrels and different coloured inks. I think it might be black. Yes. Because it's just a useful colour to have around. Are we nearly there? I've then got the Sarasa ones. I won't probably do them all because they're going to be kind of similar. But a 0 0.4 is... If you're looking for a nice sized 
gel pen to use. I recommend a 0 0.4. I just find it's the nicest sort of size, maybe a 0 0.5. Um, but it's just thin enough that I think it helps make your handwriting look neater if that's maybe something you struggle with or, you know, I just recommend 0 0.4. So those ones are lovely. I will get lots of use out of those. Um, and then finally, let's try a few jelly rolls. Again, something I've not really used before. I love this colour. It's kind of a raspberry colour. Um, has it got a name? It's just number 10. So whatever that means, number 10. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, I see why people love these then. You probably can't really tell, but it is so inky, and it's obviously quite like a rounded tip. It just flows out really, really nicely. Um, okay, I'm in love with those. I think they could be my favourite. I don't know. Let me know what you think is your favourite that I've used so far. Let's try the purple. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, excuse the terrible handwriting, but... Yay, they're so nice. Literally love them all. Um, so I'm very, very happy with this haul. Also, as I said, it is Stationery Pal's fifth birthday. So they've got a great deal and like loads of discounts and stuff going on over on their website. I'll make sure it's all linked down below. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much the haul. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I definitely have. It's been nice to be back on YouTube. I know I need to update you on my bullet journal, so that will be the next video. I will probably do another live stream because it's nice to chat and stuff, and I'll flip you through my whole bullet journal so far. Um, yeah, I've just been having a little break, so hope you guys have been good. All of the giveaway details and everything will be in the description after this. Give me a few minutes to get it in there, but yeah, good luck to everyone. It's open worldwide, and... I am very, very pleased to be able to partner up with Stationery Pal for this video and give back to you all. So thanks so much for coming and joining me. Happy Easter again, if I've, um, if you missed me saying that at the start. Um, and yeah, I wish you all good luck for the giveaway and I'll be seeing you soon in a bullet journal flip through. So thanks for coming to watch. Sending love to everyone who's come out to watch and everyone who supports my channel. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.